Hey guys, Mark TR2 here. Well, it's uh, Monday and it's a cool day. But I just thought I'd give you a, an update of what I was doing. As I explained, I was going to be working on my boat for the next couple days because I got to get it ready because it's going down for some wrapping. But you'll see that later. I just wanted to show you exactly what I'm doing here. Um, I'm basically, re I just basically rebuilt the whole structural integrity of this boat. And there's a reason for it because when I'm done with it, it's going to have one big ass, badass, big block in it. Um, I've completely re gutted the whole boat, new stringers all throughout, new floor all throughout, new transom all throughout. And I just got done installing a Bravo 1 drive train. You can't really see it much, but guys, basically I just got done putting everything back in the boat again. I loom everything right down to the bilge pumps. Um, everything. The only thing I got to do yet, I got to cut two more holes because this thing is getting actually silent choice exhaust uh, by Mercury Marine. Um, it'll either, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna use uh, air actuator or electric yet. Um, I haven't even looked into it yet, but I know what I'm going to do there. But uh, as you can see, I put a whole brand new transom in this thing, brand new floor, excuse the mess, and brand new stringers all throughout. And the sides, yeah, you really can't see it, but anyways, stringers right from front, right to back. I didn't, uh, I didn't chintz out on this one because this one's going to have some serious horsepower when I'm, I'm done. Um, I'm not going to tell you exactly what the horsepower is going to be. Um, there will be some videos on uh, the build because, like I said, I build a lot of my engines myself. And a lot of you guys know that. Um, I was going to put a 383 stroker in it and then something else come up that I, I actually got a chance to get a Bravo 1 by uh, Bravo 1 drive by Mercury which takes a lot more horsepower than what an Alpha will. So I figured well what the hell I'll uh, put the Bravo in it because the Bravo is going to handle the horsepower that I'm going to uh, put to it. And um, like I said it's going to be one badass big block. Um, but like I said, I needed to build the boat so it would handle it. Um, and it's going to now. I had the uh, glass work all professionally done by a guy that's been in doing glass for years. Um, Bruce, if you're watching, thank you very much. Um, you, outstanding job. And I, 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 I'm looking forward to taking you for a first ride. But um, yeah, so that's what I'm up to. Just working on a 1986 Chris Craft. I put a new gauge package in it. Excuse my mess, guys. These were the original uh, gauges that were in it, but they're pretty much baked. So I put uh, nice Mercury Marine stuff in there, but uh, excuse the mess, guys. Like I said, I'm just in the middle of this build because, like I said, up here in Canada, winter is coming, so I'm in limited time. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of time all throughout the summer to work on my own boat. Um, I'm hoping to get a lot of the work done over the winter time so I'm ready for the 2015 season and um, if any of you guys are watching please comment I'm looking for a boat name I'm not sure exactly what to call it I was thinking the extreme but I'm not too sure yet I've like I said I've just been doing some thinking all I know is this thing is going to be quite the boat when I am done but uh, like I said, everything that I, all my wiring and stuff, I've completely done all the wiring over again, loomed everything. And the reason I like loom, number one, is it looks clean. Number two, is it protects the wires. And I label everything so I know what's what and where it goes and so far. And everything is going the way I'd like it to. I still got a little bit more wiring, but I got to get the... Uh, I had to get the Bravo 1 uh, transom plate gimbal housing installed because, like I said, this thing this week is actually going to my buddy at Fleet Image, and he is going to um, wrap, do some wrapping for me. Because the brown on this boat from being 19, it's not in too bad a shape, but there is actually some pitting 
on it. And I could repaint the boat, but you know what? It still looks like an old boat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them to wrap the boat and give her an entirely different uh, look. And when I'm done, she'll look uh, really, really good, I hope so. Here we go, guys. Boat build 2014 for the 2015 season. Um, stay tuned. There will be a lot more on this. Please uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Cheers.